because we recognize that what happens in the South leads to the rest of our country. How they were happening in Atlanta and, and, and Alabama and Mississippi. Uh, and, and these are the things that helped to shape and shift the way that our country um, responded to these issues of injustice. The organization is not just supporting artists, but it's artist-led and artist-directed, uh, which is a, it's an intentional choice. Uh, it's whole death, Battle Shop's death, abiding death, is to the Southern uh, Freedom Movement because the message came up to us through Highlander Center, our sister organization, that we are, we too can be somebody. We too can be somebody, and that's what these uh, young people latched on to. And we know what it takes to educate children, but because it's too expensive, we won't put it into place. We are creating a, 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 an entire culture of young people who don't matter to themselves because they've never been told that their stories count. So the key has been how do we decolonize education? How do we decolonize our own society that we live in? So how do we begin to, to dismantle those uh, systems of oppression? And then what do we build in its place? How do we create, for example, a new approach to education that practices a culture of, of liberation? Liberation comes from the capacity to sustain complexity. That this, the space of the classroom can be the most radical space of possibility. So I, I want to, you know, honor all the, the critiques and also honor all the possibilities of any kind of space that holds people in a space of complexity. How do I shift my whole way of knowing the world from um, from good people and bad people, uh, from fighting against the system to fighting for? humanization of all people. This movement that many of us are part of to try to change what college and, colleges and universities do, it is really premised on the notion of understanding the knowledge that is in the world, in, in society, in culture. Part of the decolonizing of the mind is to decenter education away from campuses.